Hi guys, so today is a very exciting day. Today is the start of our labor and delivery vlog. Yay. So we had an appointment this morning with the doctor and my amniotic fluid went down again. It went down from 7.7 .7 to 5.9. And he pretty much was like, well, we could bring you back again on Monday because today is Friday, August 5th as I'm filming this video. He said, I'll either bring you back Monday to check the fluids again or I'm gonna send you. And I kind of didn't want to make the decision. I was like, I don't know. I was like, what do you think is best? And he's like, I would rather induce you and make sure that you have baby than rather something go wrong and the fluid drops and something happens and you know, so. We are officially on our way to the hospital to have baby, to get induced. He also did say there is a 60% chance of a cesarean delivery. He gave me the warning. So we're headed to the hospital now to get the work up, to see everything that's going on. And I will keep you guys updated through the process. It's currently 10.57 a.m. So here we go. How do you feel, babe? I feel good. Can you believe, can you believe it? I kind of feel weird. I feel like I'm I'm very excited, but I also feel like I can't believe it's happening and I'm kind of numb, like shocked, shocked feeling like it's not really it's not really happening, but it's it's totally happening. Probably be very real once we get into the hospital, so we shall see. We're all checked in. We are in the hospital. We're not in our main room, we're in the triage room, but we're gonna be here for a while because hospital is completely full. So we're hooked up monitoring myself monitoring baby as you can probably hear it over there and got my little line in and they checked me we're starting at zero no dilation no anything and they said it could be days so now we're just kind of like waiting on the medication call to see what we're going to do and all that good stuff so that's the update so far but i think we're going to be here a while <laughs> you have anything to add honey no and that's it I'll see you guys soon do you guys hear that? He just got really loud. So, we are officially. Should I wait till he like. It's not normally that loud. He's excited. Oh. It's because he's moving, I think. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you guys anyways, but little one's heart rate is going quite loud. We are in our official room. So, so far, this is what has happened. And also the lighting in here, we don't know where the lights are, so we have natural light. But I have received my Cervidil about two hours ago, so that makes the uterus contract. I've had a couple of contractions. I haven't felt them, but they could see them on the monitor. Um, that's just basically the start of being induced. It can cause cramping, increased contractions, and diarrhea. So far, we're good. And... Um, we're just kind of waiting along to see what happens. And I'm gonna have Larry give you guys like a quick room tour of our room and have Larry say hi to you. Hi. We'll start over here. There's a nice door. <laughs> and my bouncy ball. Big bouncy medicine ball. Uh, the usual hospital stuff. The table. The bathroom. Da, da, da. Got to see the bathroom. We have the usual bathroom fare. Echo. And here is the walk-in shower. Did you show that pretty mirror? And there's the mirror. You can see the mink back there. That way they can see you in the mirror. That's what I was trying to get. <laughs> You're out of control. Nice clock. We're on the third floor, so we got a bit of a view. And then your nest. here's my nesting area. And we have a rolling recliner rocker and a desk area with stuff, a big closet. There's the mink. And there's all the professional stuff. Oh yeah, you should sort of show them the heart rate and the blue is the heart rate for the baby and then my stuff is at the bottom, is, which is contractions. The diagnostic machines. 
for all the mechanics out there. And a wash area. And where baby will be when he's born. Yes. He will be in here getting all cleaned up and wrapped up so he can get warm and get happy after coming out of that nice warm spot and being ice cold. <laughs> yeah. Poor little babe. And that's it. It could be a very long, they did say it could be days. Oh, and my blood platelets currently, so yesterday they were 77 um, when I got them checked at the regular doctor's office. And today, would she say they were 83? So she's like, it's up to the chief of anesthesia, but we will see. We're still tweening, so. That's the update for now, guys. It is currently uh, 445, day one of being here been unhooked from the monitor so I am rolling on the ball just getting things moving basically and so far still so good just mild cramps probably how a young Elvis Presley figured out how to do that <laughs> like a water spout I think or a tornado I'm not sure water spout or it's coming down all the way that is wild view from outside our room we have a water spout or a tornado I don't know what do you think sir I'm thinking tornado because it's out in the area of the gulf but I don't think we're no it's deceiving it might be further away I'm not sure still pretty wicked look at that sky so i am up walking around in the room i have decided to take off that gown i still have this um tank on and i have put my underwear back on i asked them about the underwear we're not in a point right now where <laughs> i need to not be wearing it so she's like totally up to you and i'm more comfortable just in like the sports bra underwear combo and then this just holding in baby and holds in the monitor so that gown is just oh you know it going back up. It's yeah, leaving. There's big bolts of lightning. Oh. So, anyways, guys, I don't know. Dinner should be coming soon. Larry is gonna head home. It is 5:30. He's gonna go take care of the little felines, give Lexi and Luna their dinner, and then he'll be coming back after that. So, we're about a bit away. So, I probably won't see him closer till probably eight. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully sooner. yeah, hopefully sooner. That would be great. So the goals, by the way, for the weight or not the weight. So the goals, by the way, they're written on the board over here. So I'm going to look at them. They asked me the questions right when we got here. We are going to work on breastfeeding. We're going to do the skin to skin contact, the delayed core clamping. Larry is going to cut the cord. Um, so those are those are the plans so far. So it is the next morning actually the next afternoon is currently 1 it is august 6th and we're just kind of still here still waiting and i've been hooked up to the baby heart monitor machine that's been on my stomach and then a machine that's also measuring my contractions which i am getting contractions now they're three to five minutes apart they feel like not my worst period cramps but pretty much up there and my back pain is like getting more intense but I met with an anesthesiologist with Larry last night and he talked to us about the epidural and all was well on his end until today <laughs> where the head honcho of anesthesia I think is not so sure. So they retested my blood platelets. Yesterday they were 81, today they were 80. So they didn't drop significantly, but I'm still waiting on the verdict to see if they're gonna give it to me. This has been like a constant up and down battle you guys know that for like months so we'll see there are different options they're going to talk to me about that too but yeah i'm allowed to get up and walk around so right now i'm just kind of walking around the room bouncing on the ball which is over there larry is on his way back from taking care of the kitties and what else oh 
they took out, I got like three hours of sleep last night. So you guys know when you're in hospital or if you've been in labor, like you pretty much have people coming in and out into your room, coming in and out. But when I first got here, they inserted Cervidil vaginally at like two in the afternoon. And then that had to come out at 2 a.m. this morning. So they did take that out. And then they checked me and I was zero <laughs> centimeters dilated still. Um, which was kind of like, seriously, <laughs> but it's normal and it happens. And then, um, four hours later, so I think it was about 5 a.m., they inserted another pill, not Cervidil, it was something else to also help with contractions and get things moving and to soften the cervix. And then they checked me again, and then I was one centimeter dilated and 50% effaced. And then we just did the pill again, so it was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten at 10 a.m. And I am, I see Larry. <laughs> you guys see him? I don't know if I'm gonna catch him before he goes behind the trees. There he is, he's waiting to cross in front of that red car over there. There he goes. Anyways, so we did the next pill at 10 a.m. this morning and we are one and a half centimeters. So it's just kind of like, you know, we're just rolling with it guys. And it's gonna take some time. I did just get off the ultrasound or the contraction machine, not ultrasound, the contraction machine. And I am contracting every three to five minutes. Did I say that already? I think I said that already. I also lost my mucus plug. That was fun. So went to the bathroom and lost the mucus plug. And then it also was like the bloody kind of mucusy plug situation. So I let them know about that. All is well. I'm going to bounce. Well, not bounce. They do not want you to bounce on your ball. They want you to roll the hips around in circular motions. Hopefully things will be getting rolling here pretty soon. They did predict, hopefully baby will be here tonight, maybe in the early hours of tomorrow morning. So we will see. So far, I'm doing well. But again, the last time they checked, I was only one and a half centimeters dilated. So, <laughs> you know, we have just begun. Larry is in the room, he's back, and the verdict is in about the epidural. So here is the plan. The head honcho of anesthesia has given it the okay. And then they told me, instead of waiting for the next shift roll to basically come in, let's just kinda get it going in tonight because then you end up with a new group of people and then somebody else that might be like, no, I don't think that's a good idea, which is what happened last night. Last night it was all good, today questionable. <laughs> So we are going to be inserting the epidural this evening. You have to get fluids before you can get the epidural because the epidural can cause a drop in blood pressure and other things. So we're getting it and we're getting it this evening, which is very exciting. I think Larry is going to go trudge along, see if he can find us a subway. I was not <laughs> very, we're back lit, but um, my lunch, I wasn't digging it. So I, uh, I ate the brownie though, guys. You know, I ate that brownie. Had a little tiny strawberry on top and I ate it. It was so good. Very fudgy, but I'm very hungry. So I think Larry's going to try and find us the subway that is on the lot. This freaking scrunchie is intense. Hun, how are you doing? How are the meow meows? The meow meows are very good. Good. I am doing well. Good. It's 70 degrees in our room, by the way. So here's the update. Somebody's in the bathroom and says, oh my God. I said, what? You need help? <laughs> she says, I don't know what happened. I think my water just broke. So upon closer review, yeah, it broke. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was the biggest rush of a gush feeling. Guys, I just took my scrunchie. Okay, first of all, I just had this big pizza sub sandwich. Just finished it. And the, my nurse girl came in and she's like, if I'm not back at 4.15, call. We're going to hook you up to the monitor. I literally just said bye to her. All was well. Had an hour break where I was going to get up, walk around, do my thing, get out of this bed. Went to the bathroom. Took that scrunchie out. Put a regular hair tie in. Was headed to the toilet to go pee. And the biggest gush ever came out. My water broke. So we're here. We're getting... <laughs> the IV fluid so that we can get the epidural. And it has begun. What time is it? 3.50? Yep. August 6th, 3.50 in the afternoon. 
That was so, like, I wasn't sure if I should cry or, like, laugh hysterically. I didn't do either. I, I kind of have laughed. No, that's a good thing. Yeah, it is. It's exciting. But it kind of was, like, overwhelming, too. I did not expect that to happen. I expected to go hours and hours out. This is getting a little bit more uncomfortable. Hey, at least you didn't do it on the carpet in Lady Mary's room. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's starting. Oh, God. Yay! Yay! Little one's coming. We can get through this. Not time. I know. You got this. Thanks, babe. So. We'll be back. Yeah, what Larry said. Larry's in charge now, so whatever we get, it's on Larry. <laughs> but he's busy, too. No pressure. <laughs> Obviously, he's busy. Another contraction coming. Mm -hmm. Are they comfortable? Mm -mm. No. No. But Larry reminded me to keep breathing, so I'm doing that and squeezing the crap out of this. Yes. So what is your pain level at? During those contractions? Seven, eight, and six, seven, them? eight, seven, eight. Without them, which is mild, regular crampies, like a four, five. Mm. Still not comfortable. Not comfortable. Yeah, well, they're this working is, on your medication. This is not baby bump, by the way. No. This is holding monitor in place. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a compression bump. I kind of honestly feel like I'm going to poo myself. Ooh. But I think that's all the contracting. I don't know that. Oh my god, what if I do? I have to. Plenty of water down there, like. Oh god, oh, I hear a baby! I think they're delivering maybe next door. That's so cute! That'll be us soon. Well, who knows? It could be a while, but oh god. Yeah. Okay, signing off. Just got the epidural, currently getting a contraction, so it's not. Okay, so I did get the epidural. The right side is more effective currently than the left side, but because of my history, it's a little too risky to like redo or move or get it right in the center. So we might have left side feeling more than right side. Right side is completely numb, but we'll see. But I'm so thankful to have had the epidural because oh my God. So it's, it's great. I feel very tired. I also got, um, a med through IV. Do you know what that was on? Mm -mm. It was like a small, calming kind of... So right now during these, I'm just squeezing the crap out of this washcloth that Larry got me. And just getting through and I'm going to try and take a nap while I can. Which, don't really know how that's going to go, but... <sighs> Guys, I got the epidural. Something that I didn't think I was going to get at all. Yay. And it, you know... I can still feel a little bit on the left side. That's it is what it is. I'd rather have a partial <laughs> knocked out, and then I'll be getting my catheter here shortly. So can't wait to meet baby. Everybody's babies are being born like literally at the same time. The neighbor next door just had theirs like before I got my epidural, and somebody down the hall had theirs, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's gonna be our little one soon. Did you hear them? hear that little one crying mm -hmm. you want to talk to them Larry's wonderful support by the way guys <gasps> that's so weird I just slapped myself and the whole thing's numb on this side <laughs> but see I can feel the left side <sighs> it's okay at least we got half okay guys 
we are all set. The epidural went into the left side, just took a minute to get over there. So if that happens to you, it happened to me, a totally normal thing. Right side went first, but the left side caught up and I cannot feel my contractions. <laughs> so doing really, really great. Oh, they did just check two centimeters dilated. We've got a long road to get there. Um, they're going to give me another pill to help with the, I can't think I got a pain med thing. I don't know. I can't think, but then they're going to switch from that over to Pitocin, basically something to help continuing with the induction of labor. Right, Larry? That's right. In the meantime, I think I'm going to try and take a nap and I kind of feel possibly sick. Hmm. feel a little nauseous right now. We've got the bag. Yeah. Definitely aren't going to film the bomb if that happens. Mm. I'll sign off. <sighs> Say goodnight, Nick. Good night for now, guys. Exciting news. So they were getting ready to roll me over onto my other side and they were going to check me and there was kind of a lot of blood, bloody show. She's like, um, I think we need to check you. Turns out I am seven millimeters dilated. Is it millimeters? Centimeters. centimeters. <laughs> seven centimeters dilated and his head is like right there we are ready to go they've just called the doctor <laughs> so it is all happening i also have the shakes and i was telling you guys i was really nauseous and she's like that explains all of that <laughs> so but i'm doing great i'm not in any pain i just i'm so excited honey how do you feel excited yeah 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 Show them the, oh, well, she covered it up with towels, but they just got the baby's area all ready. Nice and warm over there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we should tell them what time it is. It's, uh, it is 8.15, just about. It's 8.15 in the evening, just about. What day are we on? Is it Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Okay, I'm going to get like a 10 minute nap. <laughs> okay. Or... Say goodnight. Goodnight. We have reached that part of the vlog where the footage from being in the hospital is over and we're going to B-roll to pictures. So I figured I would hop on, explain. Larry had messaged family members and stuff like that from the process on that you guys didn't get to see when things started happening, when we weren't allowed to film anymore. So I'm going to explain that segment that is missing. Phone ringing. Hold on. I look like a sloth, a tired sloth. Sloths are cute though. They're cute. Mm, not as cute as a sloth. Why do you get cute sloth? Mm, things be <laughs> All right, so on the 6th at 12.31 a.m., I had contractions, and I was one centimeter dilated. At 8 a.m., which I think you guys saw up until this part, at 8 a.m. that day, yeah, you saw most of this, I was 1.5 centimeters dilated. At 3 p.m., my water broke, which you guys also saw, and after my water broke, I was still one and a half centimeters dilated. Or actually, no, yeah, still one and a half. And then I think this is where everything stopped we stopped filming um so from three to five i had pretty decent contractions that were definitely painful at 5 p.m i had my epidural at 608 they checked me and i was two centimeters dilated and this is when the epidural had fully kicked in i really couldn't feel anything and then they came into the room two hours later and we're gonna reposition me. They were like, how long have you been laying on that side? And I'm like, I've been here since y'all put me here. And so they were like, okay, well let's roll you over. And they lifted up the sheets and she was like, oh, you're bleeding. Bloody show is happening. I think we should check you now to see what's going on. And this was at 8.09 PM. I was seven centimeters dilated and they were shocked. I was excited, Lair's excited. I'm like, heck yeah, couldn't feel a thing. <laughs> By the way, the epidural is crazy, uh, wonderful. Um, and then they called the doctor. So the doctor was on the way at nine. So in one, less than an hour, I went from seven centimeters to 10 centimeters. We were ready to go, ready to rock and roll. And at 9.50, I started pushing. That might seem odd. There might be a little bit of 
we were waiting for the doctor to come, but we were pushing with the nurses just to kind of like get things going. I think we started pushing when the doctor, no, the doctor arrived at 10. Um, so, and then at 10.49, Liam was born. And he was eight pounds, 21 inches long. So that is the information that is kind of, or the video that is missing that we weren't allowed to film on that, that kind of part there. But plus, I mean, we didn't really have anybody to film anyways too. Like I wanted Larry there fully in the moment as well. Um, so now I am going to roll the pictures. I hope you guys enjoy them. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye. Oh, it's okay.